I don't think people realize how bad it really is with Call of Duty multiplayer. I don't think people realize how manipulative it is, how broken the game is, and just how an utter joke Call of Duty multiplayer is nowadays. Like sure, everyone knows about the skill-based matchmaking and the engagement optimization matchmaking and all the bullshit with the matchmaking systems and all the nonsense that you run into, but you do not really see how just disgusting and how bad Call of Duty is and how it's, the game is playing you and you're not playing it until you start to two box and see it on the other side of this manipulation, this matchmaking system and start seeing the things that are going on and then you can, can play without two boxing. You start comparing the matches and you start seeing things that really, really, really like without any doubt drive home all the stuff that people think is conspiracy theories and rage bait videos because all that stuff that's being said is absolutely true. It is the most insane things I have seen by two boxing and playing in these dumb, dumb lobbies or playing on my dumb, dumb account. Like I'm talking 0 0.003 KD. Like I dumped it to the point where it couldn't get any lower. And the things I have seen and the things I've experienced now, I will now never ever play Call of Duty legit again or like even just play the game at all. I know it's addicting because of the dopamine hits you're getting and the dragon chasing after the kill streaks and getting good games. And that's really all this game is when you break it down. It's not a fun experience. You're not out there enjoying it like it's a single player Elden Ring or even like a Fortnite game or the zombies aspect of Call of Duty. It's not like that at all. The multiplayer aspect of Call of Duty is nothing more. It's just a mind fuck. I don't even know how to say it any different. Like all we are doing is just completely being manipulated and I don't think people know how bad it is. All right, let me break it down like what I have seen on the other side of this Call of Duty matchmaking system and comparing it. First of all, first of all, there are bots. This is a fact. But when I played in the super, super duper low, low level bot lobbies, I'm talking I've dumped about, I don't know, 20 games. So I am at the lowest tier skill based matchmaking. And at that level, it actually takes a while to find lobbies because I'm so bad that the players they try to put me with are just horrible. There aren't even that many who are that bad. So they are literally filling lobbies with bots. And I imagine there's bots in all aspects and all lobbies, but I have been playing this game and I have seen people and watched them and followed them around the map. And there is no way that this person is a human being. They move like a robot. They walk around. They do all this weird things. It is not a person playing this video game. And in fact, no one is actually playing this video game. You think you control the game. You think you control your player. You do not. The algorithm, the AI, the skill-based matchmaking, the systems they have put in place, the engagement optimization matchmaking, that is actually controlling the game. Sure, there are people who are good at the game. Can you see somebody who's slaying on a regular, you know, connection, not boosting, not cheating, and getting, you know, pretty decent gameplay? That is like the top 0.01%, dude. That's like 99.9% .9 of everybody else does not play like that. You are being tricked sort of in a roundabout way to think that that's like a good gamer no that's an exceptional gamer that's a dude who is above and beyond everybody else and a lot of these guys like you see nate shot or all these scump players or all these really pro players who i think play legit and aren't cheating and even them they're being manipulated beyond belief like there's different layers like they'll be manipulated they're, they're so good that they're still sit up there's a two or three kd but everybody else it's even more so the average player and the way this game is made is made rather for the average player for example Engagement optimization matchmaking and skill-based matchmaking is 100%. Forget about skill-based matchmaking. Forget about putting people in lobbies with equally skilled players. Even if you do get in a lobby that's equally skilled and then you start kicking ass, and everyone will notice this, and I've noticed it because I've been playing in absolute mentally challenged lobbies, like where there's no way in hell I should ever die more than five times. And I will start off the game going like 25-0 and 0 and have all my kill streaks. Did you see the gameplay behind you? Dominating people. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere for no reason that can be explained i will start to lose gunfights i will start to be spawning in bad locations and bad situations the game will start putting me in bad situations where i will die multiple times in a row but i'm still going to end up with a great score and that's my point even though at the end of the day i still have a great score the game is working as hard as it can to beat me the game is trying to make you even steven every single 
time. It is not allowing you to play freely. It'll allow you to play freely for the first part of the game. An exact opposite. If you're playing horribly at the very beginning of the game, the game will try to manipulate the rest of the match and the rest of the players with the algorithms and the artificial intelligence learning systems that have built into it with patents. We all know there are patents there. I'm not going to show them again for the 15th million time. If you aren't privy to that, I'm sorry. You're behind the eight ball here, my friend. They're out there. And by the middle of the game, towards the end of the game, if you're down, it'll try to bring you up. And if you're up, it'll try to bring you down. And like it'll change the hit detection. It'll change the damage profiles. It will change your spawn locations and do everything it can to put you in bad situations where there's a bunch of people around you where you don't stand a chance. Even against mentally challenged gamers, you're going to lose a gunfight when it's 3v1. Those guys, with how fast the time to kill is, are going to take you down. There is nothing in this game that is authentic or real. And I don't care if you're a great gamer because if you're great, you should be doing even better. You probably would have a 4, a 5 KD, even a higher. So if you have a 2 KD, you probably would have a 3 KD, but it's trying to bump you down so it gives you a 2 KD. No one in this game would have a 3 KD, by the way, unless they're cheating. All the CDL pros and whatnot are like 2 or whatever, and those guys are better than anyone else you're going to find, and those guys can't even keep above a 2 KD. But the point is, if it was just like, you know, without manipulation, they have a 3 or 4, maybe even a 5. I remember Mark of J back in the day before all the skill-based matchmaking, well, I don't even know what that reference is, but he was one of the best pub stompers out there. That dude had a 4 KD, 5 KD, before skill-based matchmaking. If he had skill-based matchmaking like we do now, and by the way, he quit Call of Duty, he quit the franchise because he saw exactly what was going on. He quit when skill-based matchmaking kicked in. He quit after Black Ops 4. He had enough of that. He realized what was happening, and he bounced because he was, you know, said, listen, I'm not being manipulated. And his KD was dropping and dropping and dropping. And it's not because people are getting better. Yes, people are getting better, but the game is doing everything it can, no matter what, to try to keep everybody on the same level. What's really crazy as well is, like I said, by being on the other side of the skill-based matchmaking, the problems and all the things I've mentioned before are amplified because I'm the greatest player in the world compared to the rest of these people in this lobby, and yet I am still getting beat in gunfights that would, should never have a chance to lose. I am having spawned in locations where I should never be spawned, where it's an impossible feat to try to take down three guys, even though these guys are horrible, but with three dudes firing bullets at me, it's just I can't t take them out. And on top of that, like I said, halfway through a lobby against people who should have no business being able to beat me, I will start to lose, I will start to go down, or I will start to get better. And it's been happening for quite a long time. And I know all of you watching this video have seen this happen to you. You all have been victims of this doing well, doing poorly, doing poorly, doing well, all within the same match. It almost is like clockwork. And I'm telling you, anyone who plays this game like as if it matters, like as if they're proud of their accomplishments, as if they're actually playing it for fun or whatever you're doing, I don't know what to say, man. All I'm saying is that you need to fucking quit. Everybody needs to stop this. Like, it is crazy how much this game is just mind messing up everybody playing it. And none of us, none of us are playing a game. The game is playing us. And that is a fact. So I'm the ghost of eight. Love you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Do not buy this game. I'll play this game. Just give up on the franchise. It's time to quit, dudes. There's no way in ever and whatsoever in my entire life will I ever play this game without two boxing because I will manipulate it. I'm not allowed to manipulate me. And quite frankly, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would quit this game and I would never play it again because it is just, it's disgusting, bro, how crazy this, what's happening is happening. Thank you for watching. Stay black. Question Thor, no, Hind, Cracker, Clean, Shape, Shapes, Boom, Mace, Fire, Fingers, Chain, Shells, Seven Levels, Inside, Job, Just Door, Cower, Seven Levels, Wolves, Owls, Flat, Moves, Fake, Owls, Wolves, Hitch, Force, The Frost, Game, White Men. Bring it down.